Located in the very center of Europe, Poland is a fascinating country that serves as a crossroad of sorts, both geographically and culturally. It is a country that has seen tremendous turmoil and hardships. Despite this, the Polish people and Poland itself has rebounded like only they can. Through its turbulent history, its people have managed to maintain their identity. And today, the country currently enjoys a crucial position as the largest of the former Eastern European states and one of the most populous members of the European Union. Sadly, it is often overlooked as a tourist destination, but we're here today to show off this charming country and its many highlights. Poland is a must visit for foodies, history buffs, outdoor enthusiasts, pretty much anyone with a beating heart will find something to enjoy on a trip to Poland. So we're here to make things easier for you by providing a must go, see, do and eat while visiting Poland. Seeing that we did mention that Poland has a bit to offer everyone, let's start with our history buffs. Poland has no shortage of historical landmarks, each with its own rich backstory. Take, for example, the capital Warsaw. Warsaw's old town is only old in name. Many of its buildings are relatively new, having been built or rebuilt post-World War II. Recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, it has plenty of shops and restaurants for you to enjoy. You can just stroll along the cobblestone streets and enjoy the beauty of the Rhinex Starigo Miasta, or Old Town Market Square. A seamless mix of medieval architecture, gothic and colorful Renaissance buildings alongside merchant houses makes this square the most popular in the city for good reason. Next up is the Walrill Royal Castle, located in Krakow. Built in the 16th century by King Sigismund I the Old, this stunning castle is a rather handsome one. Constructed with medieval elements, mixed with Baroque and Renaissance details. It was home to one of the most stunning art pieces collected by King Sigismund, who himself was an avid collector of fine art. It makes sense then that the castle is now an important art museum, focused mainly on paintings and curatorial work. Our last recommended spot for our history buffs would be the V. Leechkurs Salt Mine. Built in the 13th century, it is one of the world's oldest and longest working salt mines. It stopped commercial operations in 1996, but has since become an artistic attraction. It is now home to four chapels, corridors, and statues, all of which have been masterfully carved out of the rock salt walls. Another must-visit destination for our history buffs mentioned in our Top 10 Emerging Travel Destinations video, which we'll link for you to have a look-see. Let's speak to our naturalists next. Bioloeza Forest is one one of the last remaining primeval woods in Europe and is a must visit for nature enthusiasts. It is hiker friendly and also serves as a stronghold to the few remaining bison in Europe. You can then go exploring the Polish Tatra Mountains. We recommend you specifically head to Morski Oko Lake, nestled deep within the towering mountains and fragrant pine trees. It truly is a stunning and one of a kind location. The hike to get there is storybook scenic and the lake itself is similarly fairy tale esque as it changes color throughout the year, transforming from a deep shade of blue to a softer turquoise hue. Sticking to the fairy tale theme, we have another destination that seems like a place Disney shot scenes from the Chronicles of Narnia. Located just outside the tiny town of Gryphono lies the Crooked Forest. There, one can observe a stunning phenomena to be seen with the trees here. In the Crooked Forest, there are a number of pine trees that stand on their own, growing with a 90 degree angle at their base, all bent northward. It is the definition of a unique and stunning location, where one can enjoy a quiet hike surrounded by the wonders of nature. Finally, we recommend you head down to Masuria, Poland's Lake District. This district is home to 2,600 freshwater reservoirs, interconnected by man-made canals. Hop on a rented boat and explore the lake and its surrounding areas for yourself. There, you can travel across over 130 kilometers of picturesque water trails or embark on a 93-kilometer kayaking journey along swampy terrains and dense forests in the Krainia River. The Missouri region also has 23 cycling tracks, where you can take in more of what this region has to offer on land. Foodies, we haven't forgotten you, have no fear. Poland is surprisingly one of the premier food tourism spots in Europe. With a hearty cuisine perfected by the locals over hundreds of years, Poland and its people take food very seriously. And for our listeners who are guided by their stomachs when traveling, a trip here will satiate all your cravings. 
Milk bars are a Polish phenomenon and one of the most unique things to do in Poland that we definitely recommend. Milk bars are basically canteens where anyone can have a hearty meal for next to nothing. It offers tourists a unique and homely dining experience, as the meals served there are traditional home-cooked meals. It is an experience similar to taking a trip to your Polish grand grand's place for dinner. Find yourself a milk bar and experience the soul of Polish cuisine. Another must-do on your culinary Polish expedition is Stary Dom in Warsaw. The fine dining equivalent of a milk bar, this gives patrons a more intricate taste of what Polish cuisine has to offer. Honestly, there are no shortage of places to find authentic Polish cuisine, so we'd like to change gears and focus on what we recommend you must try. Soups are a must in Poland. In fact, the Polish are so good at soups that their recipes have infiltrated old French cookbooks, a feat not to thumb your nose at. We specifically recommend beetroot soup, also known as borscht. It's a vegetarian dish that is sweet and sour with a bit of spice. Served with tiny delicious raviolis, stuffed with dried porcini mushrooms, a dish that is the perfect appetizer and one that will leave you craving more. Head on to your main dish pierogi or dumplings. Pierogi are half circular dumplings, filled with a host of different stuffings and eaten boiled, baked, deep fried or pan fried. Perhaps the most famous Polish comfort food. It is a dish that will satiate and warm the heart, mind and soul. That concludes our Polish recommendations. We hope this served you well and you'll now be able to enjoy your eventual trip to the beautiful and resilient European gem that is Poland. If you enjoy travel-related content, consider subscribing to the channel, where we post all things travel-related. Till next time, safe travels.